I've been cooking for a while and it always makes me smile when a recipe turns out just right. I like to saute and grill every day, you know it satisfies my appetite. But what I like to do when I'm all alone with you is create a new recipe. Won't you come along and relax for a while, let's explore the possibilities. Won't you cook with me? recipe it was meant to be so won't you cook with me hey folks Johnny Moe the musical chef here and I'm gonna make something delicious today pan seared red snapper over Asiago polenta with sauteed mushrooms and asparagus it's one of my favorite dishes we're gonna start with it right now we're gonna take this beautiful red snapper and put it together with some other delicious ingredients but before we do that let me tell you what you're gonna need some fresh red snapper, some coarse ground cornmeal, some heavy cream, some Asiago cheese shredded, a little bit of white wine, any wine will do, Chardonnay, Chablis, some dried tarragon, some butter, a couple of shrooms, the juice from one lemon, and some blanched asparagus. We're going to keep the beautiful skin on this snapper, so to prevent it from curling up in the pan, we're going to score it like this. We'll just cut nice thin strokes just through the skin, not into the flesh. And put nice X marks on there. And that will prevent the skin and the whole piece of fish from curling up in the pan. Perfect. Let's get it seasoned and go on to the next part. Now that our pan is heating up, let's work on our polenta a little bit. We've got heavy cream, butter, water, and a little salt and pepper in here. We're going to bring that to a nice simmer. Some fresh cracked pepper always adds a little more flavor. When that comes to a boil, we're going to slowly whisk in the cornmeal, and then we'll fold in the asiago at the end. But I think our pan is just about ready for our fish, so let's get that started. Now this pan is nice and hot, we're going to season up our fish. We're going to drop a little bit of butter in there. Stir that around the whole pan. And we're going to add our fish skin side down right into the hot oil. You don't want to move it around too much. We want to like, get a nice crispy sear on that outside edge. While we're doing that, we can season the top of it here. Just a little salt and pepper is great. And for good measure, because we're going to put tarragon in our sauce, we'll put a couple sprinkles of the dried tarragon, but reserve some for the sauce at the end. And see how the fish is not curling up. It's holding its shape. That's because we put those nice scores on the inside of the skin. We're going to get this started here in the pan. Then we're going to remove the fish, put it into an oven safe dish, finish it off in the oven, and make our sauce when we deglaze the pan. So our skin is getting nice and crispy there. So we're going to make sure that skin didn't stick. Flip it over real quick, and you see we've got a nice golden brown color on our fish there. I'm just going to get a quick sear on the outside edge of that fish and we're going to move it to our oven safe pan and get it rock and rolling in the oven. Now we're moving our fish to our oven safe pan. We're going to keep it skin side up because that's going to be our presentation side. You see that nice beautiful skin. So let's take that and pop it in a real hot oven about 450 degrees. Now we're going to remove that excess oil from the pan, but save all that good flavor in the bottom there. We're going to add our mushrooms. First we're just going to whack them up real quick. Quick chop on our mushrooms. Pop those mushrooms into the pan. We're going to wait to add the asparagus to the very end because they're already blanched. We just want to get a quick little sear on the outside of these mushrooms as they start to cook and release their juices, then we'll deglaze with the white wine to get all that great flavor from the bottom of that pan. Now that our mushrooms have started cooking down, we're going to go ahead and deglaze this pan with the white wine and a squeeze of about half the lemon juice. Remember to catch the seeds in your hands so the seeds don't fall in there. I'm going to let that reduce down, but scrape the bottom of the pan to get all those tidbits of fish flavor out of there as well. And finish cooking our 
mushrooms down. Now that our wine is reduced, we're going to add the heavy cream and the tarragon. The tarragon will open up nicely as this sauce begins to reduce and thicken up a little bit. While our sauce reduces on low, let's move over and finish up the polenta. As you can see, our cream, water, and butter mixture has now come to a boil. We're going to slowly whisk in the polenta. And add it little by little because it will thicken up pretty quickly as long as your liquid is boiling. As it starts to thicken, reduce the heat to low because it turns into bubbling lava and you don't want it to pop out and hit you in the face. Now you can see it's thickening up nicely. And as it gets just a little thicker, we're going to gently fold in our Asiago cheese. It's going to add a nice sharp flavor to that. It will contrast the mild flavor of the red snapper. And you can see that's a nice porridge consistency with a, a firm grit, basically. That's what we want. A nice soft creamy polenta. So let's go back and check on our salt. So here our sauce is bubbling away. It looks nice. It's just a perfect consistency. I think we're just about ready to add our asparagus. So like I said, these are perfectly blanched asparagus. And you can check out my tech tips soon to see how to blanch vegetables just the right way so they stay crunchy but let, retain that beautiful bright color. We're just going to fold these in there just to get them coated with the sauce and heat it up. And we'll check on our fish. It should be just about ready. Now let's pull our snapper out of the oven and get ready for plating. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Moist and juicy. The skin is nice and crispy. Let's get it down here on the table and get ready to plate. All right. Red snapper, red plate. Here we go. All about the presentation. We'll take some of our nice creamy polenta, put it a little off center there. Then we're going to take our asparagus out of our sauce. Put those right in there. Then that nice piece of red snapper right on the side there. And then we'll just gently spoon a little bit of those mushrooms and the tarragon cream sauce right over the top. And there you have it. All right, delicious, crispy skin, red snapper, with a little creamy polenta, sauteed asparagus with the tarragon mushroom cream sauce. That, my friends, is lunch, and I'm getting ready to dig in. If you enjoy this recipe and you want to see many more like it, check out my webisodes at YouTube and check out chefjohnnymo.com. And also, go to my website and purchase my cookbook, Johnny Mo Rocks the Kitchen, or my other book, Johnny Mo Rocks the Party. And if you follow these simple recipes, you can rock the kitchen too. Well, I've been cooking for a while and it always makes me smile when a recipe turns out just right. I like to saute and grill every day, you know it satisfies my appetite.